Well, welcome back everyone and uh, thanks again for tuning in to Photoshop Elements Imaging Techniques and Tips. And today, uh, as uh, we mentioned in the last uh, tutorial, we're going to start a series on tool usage. And this first one is going to be, uh, as the title you, you see above uh, suggests, is non-working tools. And by that, I don't mean that they're necessarily not working. They're just not working because of something that we, we need to do uh, to get them to work correctly. And now here's something that I'd like you to write down. And I've never said write this down, but you'll thank me if it ever happens. And this will work in Photoshop's 6, 7, and 8. Is if you continually have an editor that crashes or, or it won't start. You know, you, you've got an image here in edit mode and it just it just quits on you. Then what you want to do is close out and restart your Elements program. And from the welcome screen, you hold down three keys. The Control key, the Alt, and the Shift keys. And you're holding them down all together. And then click on the Edit tab. And keep holding those keys down until you get a message that says delete Photoshop Elements settings file and when that message comes up click yes and that should get you working again and uh, just from my own experience I noticed that element 7 tends to do this more than some of the other versions now once you do this you'll also have to go back into your preferences and reset those so let's say now that uh, you've got <coughs> you're going to work on an image and something's not working right for you. So uh, let's do a couple of things. Uh, the first thing would be is to make sure that if you're working in a layered file that you're on the correct layer. Uh, this particular one that I've, I just happen to have up here as just a background layer. If you Also if you're trying to do something um, and it's not working you might need to unlock the layer and you have a lock here double click it and take that away and then you might be able to continue on the next thing would be is your caps lock and I'm going to go over here and I'm going to grab a brush tool and you see from the cursor it's just a little spot and I can't tell actually what size the brush tool is although it says it up here in your options bar that it's a 60 pixel brush and it's also a hard brush so what you want to do is just simply take your caps lock off and sometimes you forget that you're setting some type in capital letters and you go to to apply a brush or an eraser tool clone stamp to a healing brush and all you get is just a little dot and you can't tell what you're doing so just check to make sure simple thing like your caps lock Next would be the options bar. For example, let's take the clone stamp tool here and um, let's say that I want to uh, these this light area here of trees that I want to darken them and I want to use I'm going to sample from over here and to darken them. Well if I have my mode set to lighten I, I click on a dark space and bring it over here nothing's happening. So what I, all I need to do then is to go back to darken, take my sample, and then start painting over there. And you also might have an issue uh, with the opacity of it. And most of the time we're working with 100% opacities on these brush tools and all. Uh, but if um, it's not at 100% you're going to see this fade out right here and that would be a quick visual cue and then you can go over here and say ah my opacity is not at a hundred percent so that's another reason that you might uh, not uh, be using the tool uh, and it's not working like you want it to the other thing is that occasionally um, and I notice this a lot on uh, you know I like to use the bracket keys Here's, here's my brush size right here and I can use my bracket keys to increase or decrease the size of the brush you can also do that up here in the options bar but sometimes 
I'll get in there and we'll start messing with the bracket keys to increase or decrease it and it's not working and the real simple fix to that is just press your escape key and the final thing I want to talk about is occasionally you've got some things applied to a layer and the the brush tool is not working something and all you really need to do over here you can right click uh, or you can go up to your drop down menu and either simplify or flatten an image those actually do two different things we're not going to talk about that here but if all else fails go over to highlight your layer right click on it and either click simplify it just depends on what it is like a shape layer or whatever simplify that and then check and see if your tools are working correctly all right well we're going to uh, talk about a number of other things later the last thing I'm going to talk about real quickly since we're talking about tools is the blur tool and one of the things that we do as photographers we want to control depth of field sometimes we want a great depth of field sometimes we want a shallow depth of field for example in a portrait we want to make sure that the mask of the face is sharp you know the eyes and lips and all that and then the rest of it is of lesser consequence and if you've got something in the background or somebody that you can't crop out and you want to uh, minimize them and and uh, draw more attention to your main subject then you could just use the blur tool so we're going to get it from over here and once again you have different modes in blur tools you have lighten and darken and um, get that and normal and some others most of the time you'll be working in normal and once again you want to look in at your strength meter there in your setting and uh, then go from there and we're going to uh, do some more blurring here we're going to blur some of this down we want the the cheetahs here to to stand out and we're going to blur those now if you've got a really large area you can go ahead and make a, a bigger brush and go ahead and continue to, to blur that out and be conscious of uh, you know, the, the parts that you want to be sharp or you can go in and use one of your uh, selection tools like the lasso tool you could you could select a very large area like this as you're going to do this a lot more carefully and then a lot of times so that the demarcation line between the areas that you want sharp and the ones blurring you, you do want to minimize that so you go up to select and feather and you're going to feather that edge so that it, it blends in more nicely and then you can go up to filter blur and do a Gaussian blur and set that to uh, different values you're going to look at your have your preview checked so that you can see what you're doing there now that's just a and then control D to take away the marketing ants everything is, is blurred in nicely and if you need to work along that edge you can use things like uh, go back to your blur tool again uh, on an individual basis or use the clone stamp tool so in the next video tutorials we're going to talk about uh, general tools and uh, more specifically uh, the ones that we use uh, often and some of the new ones that you may not have gotten into so have a good weekend and we'll talk again